We are halfway through September and after last week's heat wave, it's finally starting to feel like football weather here in Sacramento. Good evening and welcome to final quarter and week four of the high school football season. But for our area teams that kicked off on week zero and haven't had a bye, this marks the midway point of the regular season. We start our show tonight with a top 20 showdown, a battle of undefeateds down in Modesto. Eighth ranked Downey hosting number 20 Tracy. Defense, the story early on. Wesley Finton coming in virtually untouched, makes first contact on Connor Studdard. Credit Finton with the sack. Tracy trying the reverse now on offense, but Ethan Rowland isn't faked out. The big tackle for a loss, and this game is scoreless after one. In the second quarter, Downey punting it away. Tyson Roberts fields it, trying to find a lane, and there's Rowland coming up with another big play. Forces the fumble. Pablo Garcia is there with the recovery. Knights then turn it into three. Eliza Reneveld with a 30-yard field goal to put Downey up three to nothing, but it's a quick answer from the Bulldogs. Cameron Ross finds a streaking Curtis Maynard. And look at this, points right at our camera guy, Howard Coyle, all over this play. He's not going to get caught. That is an 85-yard touchdown. Traces up 7-3 at the half, but Downey takes over in the second half. Kai Raglan with the short punch in for a 17-7 lead, and the Knights pull away to win it 24-13. Basically, both teams had great defenses tonight and uh, just played really hard. And it kind of came down to the second half, us making an adjustment and finding a way to win. From Modesto to Grizzly country, we are in Granite Bay. The Grizzlies welcoming in the Vacaville Bulldogs. Granite Bay looking to stay undefeated. McCade Long going long several times tonight. Finds Frank Cusano, who sheds the Bulldogs defender, trots his way in for the touchdown. Grizzlies take a 28-7 lead into the fourth quarter. Bulldogs show a little bite in the game's final quarter, though. That's Gabriel Ellis punching it in for the Vacaville touchdown from a few yards out, but that's all the dogs would be able to muster. Granite Bay stays undefeated, sends the home crowd home happy as they take down Vacaville and turn their attention to the bye week. Then two weeks from tonight, a trip to Loomis for a showdown with Del Oro. In Elk Grove, Highway 99 separating two rival schools, the Kasumnas Oaks Wolfpack hosting the Elk Grove Thundering Herd, both teams coming in with identical one and three records and vastly different playing styles. The Wolfpack, more of an air attack. Elk Grove relying heavily on the run. Wolfpack scoring first. Ranveer Molly, 25 yard strike to Jared Quenga. Consumnus Oaks up six to nothing after the opening quarter. Elk Grove has a hard time doing a whole lot offensively for most of the first half, but luckily for the herd, the defense. Stepping up, gets them on the board in the second quarter. Wolfpack deep into Elk Grove territory. Molly rolls out and he's going to get picked off. Lati Vefaga with the thievery and he's gone, taking it 87 yards for the pick six and a lead change. Elk Grove goes on top seven to six and then before the half, the thundering herd will strike again. This time the offense gets things going. Check out Wayshawn Parker takes the pitch and he's going a long way on this one. 55 yard touchdown run up the Elk Grove sideline. They take a 14 to six lead into the half. The herd just takes off after that, outscoring Kasumna Soaks 35 to eight in the second half. Elk Grove wins tonight, improving to two and three. Now I get to take a bit of a break, hand it over to our self-proclaimed Fox 40 senior hot dog reporter, Eric Rucker. He's at Rio Linda after nearly 80% of you voted to send him to the night's showdown with Foothill for our fan favorite game of the week. The Foothill Mustangs. Traveling to Rio Linda to take on the Knights in your final quarter fan favorite game of the week. The theme here tonight are Rio Linda, the Wild West. But the question is, is this going to be an old school football game, maybe on the ground, or are we going to have a shootout? You know, this is a spirited rivalry, but we're still going to maintain sportsmanship. The 2 and one Knights and the 1 and 2 Mustangs highlights right now. Here we go, Rio! It was defense that started early, fourth and 18, and the Knights kicker can't get a handle of the ball, so Foothill pounces on it themselves and in the end zone. TD Mustangs. The two-point conversion, no good, six to nothing, away team. Then, with the first quarter winding down, check out this grab by Foothill's Michael Watts Jr. Keeps his balance and takes it to the house. What a play. But once again, the try for two is not successful. 12 to nothing visitors. Let's go. Knights looking for some momentum. Marquez Martin gets a little separation, and that's all he needs. 
Big gain in the air on first down on the first quarter's last play. That momentum, though, short-lived. First play of the second quarter and fumble. Rodriguez Smith with a scoop and he's ready to run all the way the other way with his entourage. 18-0 Mustangs and a hat trick of missed two-point conversion. After a nice sustained drive, Rio Linda punching it in as time expires in the first half. Mustangs D did not think that Anthony Grand got there, but the refs disagree. Another failed two-point conversion, this time for the home team, leaving this one 18-6 at the half. In the second half, Foothill would put up more points, 32 in total. Rio Linda would not score anymore. Foothill now goes to 2-2, two and two, and Rio Linda drops to 2-2. Two and two. Final score here tonight, 32-6, Foothill over Rio Linda. In Rio Linda, I'm Eric Rucker for Final Quarter in Fox 40 News. Remember, every week you can choose where Rucker is going. Just head on over to fox40.com starting on Sundays to vote on which game you want as our fan favorite game of the week. And our last game of the night, Menlo Atherton out of the Bay Area in Loomis taking on seventh ranked Del Rio. The Golden Eagles, a perfect 4 0 with a dominant defense, but the Bears strike first. Sherrod Smith right up the gut, 23 yard touchdown, a 6 0 lead. Del Oro gets a great kick return. And the Golden Eagles take advantage of that fantastic field position. Caden Pinnock rolling to his right, chunks it deep. Tommy Poe climbing the ladder to pull it down and a 7-6 lead for Del Oro. Then that great defense I was talking about, it shows up. Bears looking for a big play through the air, but Aaron Dabney, unfreed, comes up with a diving catch. An incredible effort, full extension on the diving snag and on the ensuing possession, Pinnock to Kainoa Asia, and he does the rest. Blowing past one defender, and then check this out. The defender gets a hold of him, but he just hits the spin cycle and just drags them in. And a special shout out to Unfried, who comes in with a late push to get him across the goal line. A 76 yard Herculean effort for the touchdown. I guarantee you that you will see that play later on. Del Oro wins it in grand fashion. 42 to 13. Now it is time for the best of the best. Our plays of the week, as always, you get to tell us which play that is. And here are the three plays presented in no particular order. You can choose them. Our first nominee coming from our first game of the night, Tracy's Cameron Ross to Curtis Maynard. And Maynard basically calls his shot, pointing at our photojournalist Howard Coyle, 85 yards on the catch and run. He gets the top play nominee, but his Bulldogs lose to Downey. Our second nominee for play of the week. Shout out to the Elk Grove defenses. Lati Vefoga with the thievery picking off Ranveer Molly of Kasum Nasoaks. He takes it 87 yards the other way. That is a long pick six and worthy of our second nominee for top play of the week. And last but not least, I am a man of my word. I told you you'd see this play again, and here it is. Kainoa Asia from Del Oro. The incredible effort, refusing to go down, dragging a defender with him, and getting a special assist from his teammate, Aaron Dabney Umfried, to find the end zone. That 76-yard touchdown is your final nominee for our play of the week. Go to the sports page of fox40.com. Put as many times as you want for which play you think should be our winner. We will announce that winning play on Monday night during the 6 o'clock newscast.